I've been a I've been a watch freak for a long time too, and and I got an idea one day just to um, try to match up uh, right one of my watches. I went down to the local uh, uh, bead gallery little store uh, here in town, and I bought some bought some beads that matched the watch I was wearing. And uh, way back then, just like four almost five years ago, I would post uh, on on just Instagram uh, the watch of the day pictures, right and some guys would comment, hey, that's that's really cool. You know, did that did that did that bracelet come with the watch? How how can I get one? Where'd you get that? And of course I would, you know, I I, I made it, you know. And that started out really slow uh back then. Um I'd I'd make one, you know, for guys uh once in a while. And it just started to build and build and build. Facebook is really blown up and I couldn't be more happy uh to get the stuff out there and to be a part of this talk about watches watches crew the materials i use are genuine gemstones um some of the upper end stuff that that we're going to be offering are like like tim said uh 100 pure sterling silver from from bali uh, and i even have some that have been layered in uh 24 karat vermeil gold and i gotta tell you this stuff is just gorgeous how it works is typically i'd, I'd get a picture of a watch right from a customer um, send in their watch. It's really important too. We should we should talk about this. Is uh, I need to get the wrist size because because these things are made uh, right custom for each individual, each customer, each watch. Um, it's really important that I get get an accurate wrist size. Um, but then they would send in a picture in their wrist size uh, of the watch, and then I would build in talking with them because you know, I want to get their their input, their likes. You know. Some guys like skulls, some guys like crowns. Uh, some people just want the the uh, the gemstone bracelet, which would be the you know the good or the better. Obviously, this these these bracelets uh, are made of the best material. I have uh, it's a one millimeter stretch cord, okay, that I use. Super super durable. I mean, I've had I've had bracelets for years. I've never had an issue with them. And what I do is I pre-stretch the cord for every bracelet. It's pre-stretched. The the cord that I use is the most durable you, 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 that you can get. Um, and because these things are on the stretch cord, you need to be able to get them up and over your wrist, you know, daily, right. mul multiple times a day. In doing so, you don't want these things after a year or two to be dangling, you know, like that off your wrist. That, that, that won't happen because I've had these bracelets now for a year. And you can see they've still held their shape. I designed this BBG knot hider, and I have those made. I designed the the shape. I got a CAD CAD computer. Uh, I have them made, and then I have them sent out to a plating company here in town that they anodize it. I work in the aerospace industry, and we manufacture aerospace and military stuff. So this this anodized process is a process that puts a layer. Um, two to four tenths thick of either clear, black, and gold. They'll never chip, fade, peel. Uh, they'll last longer than all of us. Uh, and then I have them laser marked with the BBG uh, um, abbreviation. Heavy equals quality. Um, and you get one of these things in your hand and you'll, you'll, you'll feel it. This is, this is the real deal. What we're gonna be calling a good example is would be a, a genuine gemstone made just like all the rest of them. Uh, a genuine gemstone bracelet um, maybe with some silver or gold spacers um, on it to match the case and the bracelet of the watch um, and no add-ons that would be just a basic um, bead bracelet uh, then the next step up is going to be <clears throat> what we're going to term the uh, better and that's going to be the same build of genuine gemstones um, it's going to have some guys like to have skulls um, crowns, Buddhas, whatever it might be. And then each one's going to be different, guys. So I want the customer to interject their likes. Uh, that's going to be the better uh, of the three. And then the best is the big the big kahuna. It's going to be, it could be, you know, a, a great grade A tiger eye bracelet with uh, either the sterling silver beads, what they're called focal beads on top, the best of the best. And there's going to, there's some companies out there right now that are that are that are selling these things for you know a lot a lot more. I'd say anywhere is up 
of fifty to a hundred dollars uh, in, in some cases on uh, on some of the ones that are out there. It's a huge savings. It's 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 big. I know that bracelets aren't for everybody. I I I know that. Um, but those that like them love them, and when they see, I'm gonna brag a little bit. When they see the Beads by Gonzo bracelets and, and they and they get them teamed up next to their watch for the first time, um, they, they fall in love with them. I've converted so many people who, now nah, I'm not I'm not really a bracelet guy. Well, you know what? I, when they get one, they 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 turn out to be a pretty good pretty good customer. They actually see the quality, the uh, the craftsmanship, the one on one that we have with the customers, um, and the interaction there. Um, they become fans uh, real quick. Here's a really good example of a good. This is just a good. Look at those beautiful stones on this one. And then it's going to come with some spacers if you want spacers. And the spacers I use, gunmetal, black, white, silver, gold, whatever. And that's just to further bring out the color uh, of the case. And then, of course, the beads uh, would match uh, the dial or whatever part of the watch here would be a really good example of a of what would be I guess a uh, a better and this these are these are beautiful these are white howlite white howlite stones and if you can see that bling ball on there super popular stone good good heft to it um, but this one has what would we call it an add-on item okay the add-on items are going to be the ones uh, that are going to be considered the the middle of the road better so this one just happens to be a bling ball, but think about skulls or crowns or dragon heads, whatever you want. That would be considered the, the better of the three. And then you got this one. Okay, this one is is the best. This is this is grade A tiger eye. Um, and you can't get a good visual on the character of these stones, but it's and I've I've been I've I've been seeing beads now for five years every day. And these I, the supplier I have for these is unbelievable. These stones are just beautiful. And then this one has three focal beads on top. And these focal beads are straight from Bali. Um, and they're handmade sterling silver, 925 sterling silver. Uh, and then these particular ones are layered in 24 karat vermeil gold. Okay. And then, of course, it's got the, uh, the BBG knot hider that we spoke of earlier, um, tying it all together. And then we also have them in, you know, the, the, the sterling silver. So that would be considered the best. But then again, there's going to be different variations. You can get whatever kind of stones you want. The, the, the possibilities are limitless. Thank you very much for bringing me in to be a part of this. I couldn't be happier. Thanks again, guys.